Yeah, of course, that is outside of our CNY Central viewing area lore, but still close enough where we do have to at least uh, look into it, kind of get some more information. That's what I have done for tonight. I have some maps to share with you here. First one, of course, you already mentioned the confirmation by the National Weather Service, and this was yesterday evening. I was actually covering a Facebook Live through our CNY Central Facebook page and kind of addressing this while talking about our own rain and thunder in central New York. Calicoon Center to Roscoe, parts of New York there in Sullivan County. That's east of the Binghamton area is where this occurred. Doppler radar indicated a possible rotating thunderstorm here between about 649 and 715 yesterday evening. And that's what tripped the actual tornado warning to become uh, active in that area. And the survey of damage by the National Weather Service out of Binghamton, New York, has assessed basically tree damage occurred in different directions instead of all in one direction. And that would indicate wind direction kind of knocked down trees and caused damage in different orientations around the twister itself. Okay, distance from Syracuse, about 100 miles southeast of here. I put this in perspective, how far away did this occur? And I'll show you some information here about the damage. You can see reports of anywhere from not just the tornado damage on a house, but maybe trees, power lines knocked down, also some hail as large as golf balls in the area. So certainly impactful weather for that part of New York State. And this is what the radar actually looked like at that time. All right, our forecast for this evening, basically temperatures will be easing down through the 40s into the 30s overnight, only upper 30s tomorrow, mid upper 40s, some chilly, brisk conditions, occasional drops, maybe some grapple soft hail. We'll watch it for you. A wet, damp start to the week. A live look outside right now. Stanley Law Skywatch, Regency Tower View. It's chilly, damp evening here in central New York in the Syracuse area. If you're going out, maybe a fleece, maybe a light jacket. And then as we go through the week, we'll finally see an increase in temperatures. I'll let you know which day looks to be the warmest and sunniest coming up. Allura.